that I probably should pick. You get the whole thing right now. You got flowers. Mountain apple You got fruits. It's supposed to. It's supposed to flower about now and maybe next month. Yes. Is when they'll flower. And ours are white, whereas the mountain apples mostly that you see are. There's a couple. Are are red. But we have the white ones. We think we have a red one up there. Not. Now it also has. It, its wood was used for uh, implements and stuff like that, beating copper implements and those kind of things. The harder woods were used for the beaters and uh, the softer ones for... Uh, it, it is not all that happy here. It likes uh, more of a the mid-level forest. I, I, I tell kids that it looks more like marijuana than it does. In <laughs> Maybe that's what we've been seeing. We've been they, seeing know. It, yeah. uh, they know. They know only too well. This is kind of a. Um, it's it's yellow. Yeah. Not terribly sweet variety. We might. But, uh, I mean, we've eaten. Yeah. Some, there's, so a, there's, there's a there's a whole bunch million of varieties yeah. of sweet potato. Now, sweet potato is is the plant that genetically ties the voyaging of the Polynesians to South America. And Polynesia was the last of the human migration out of Africa and all that. And it ends up in Polynesia. And, uh, so when they went to South America, there were people there. They didn't stay. They came back and settled the unsettled islands in the Pacific. What it's called that is that the bananas actually develop within the stalk. Oh, really? And it gets pregnant, and then it splits, and they they come out and, and ripen on the outside. Wow. But in our case, it came out the top. So uh, I did ask her. She said probably one in five will get pregnant. So Interesting. we were going to call the guy who gave this to us and say, this is such a beautiful colored flower. Yep. You know, it's not that red, it's color fuchsia. And the apple <laughs> is that color. Mountain apple. Yes, yes, they come out that color. Good, I'm glad we have a red. You plant those in the moons that are also waning moons that are called Kaloa. There are three Kaloa moons right before the dark moons. And, uh, and that you plant underground things in, like Kuala. Wow. But if you want things to stand up straight, like Kalo, you plant those in, in uh, Ku, needs to stand up. There are four Ku moons that occur uh, the early waxing phases. So early. Hawaiian bread fruit, you can tell by the deep cuts of the leaf. Um, and when it does fruit, it's seedless. There are no seeds. The Samoan one, if you after you cook it and open it, it will have little seeds about this big, black seeds. And this has little tiny... I remember, I remember yeah, that name, Avapui. This is yeah, shampoo yeah. ginger here. That name was just, we were living in the Yeah. Alki, yeah. Alki is what they made kapha from. Kapha clock. It was the inner bark. Yes. Okay. Mulberry. So, so Mulberry. What, so what you do is you you plant it in, um, in the Kaloa moon because you want it to have long, leggy stems so that when you're pounding out your thing, you've got big pieces yeah. instead of a bunch of little. Uh, Ma'o Mauhele, the state flower. Okay. It's the Brachenrigia form of the, uh, it's a, also a, uh, it likes Kona better than here too. Cause it, and this is the one you make the, uh, the rope and all that from? Actually you do it from all of them. Yeah. All, all of them. Yep. The Akia to stun the fish, you made your net from the ule because it had the, the sugar cane oh, yeah. I used to show that dark Darker varieties were used medicinally and for um, uh, ceremonial purposes. And the, the center, the dark ones in the middle, are called uh, Kawahi uh, Apele, the, the smoke of Pele. To be thinner mm -hmm. and it's smaller nodes, so use those for the ceremonial purposes and use the ones that give you more sweetness. That's right. Are these nope. are not Hawaiian. No, nope. they're, they're both, both native? Hawaiian. Okay. They're both Naupaka. You see it right there. There's one. Oh, that's Naupaka. Half that's flower. There's one in the mountain called uh, Naupaka Kuahivi okay. that has the other half. But it this. doesn't look like the, the plant looks more like a bush flower. What this is used for, when you go snorkeling, grab one of these leaves, crush it up, and put it in Rub your inside Naupaka Okekai. Yeah, when you cut it open, it's yellow, right? Yellow juice, a yellow color coming out, or what? Might be. The the flower blooms yellow and fades to a pink. Mm -hmm. This is Milo. The red ohia mm -hmm. and a yellow ohia. Oh, yellow ohia. Oh, good. But look at the color of the flower at the bottom of. Now, that is a genetic mutant type change, not a 
cross pollination. I'll show okay. you the cross pollination. If you go up there, the the branch goes into the base of the red tree, but there is a yellow tree next to it. So, and they used condensed flowers to paint paintbrushes. Ah, uh, yeah, you used the the what they call the key of the flower to to as a paintbrush. The the leaves are the main. No, uh, I have try to go to it. The one in between all the hapu in the middle, that's actually a, yeah, the tree fern. The tree fern. The little one in the middle is a, a ma'u fern. And uh, that's because that fern grows around that one. It's an upper level. If you go over Saddle Road, you lose the hapu and it becomes uh, the ma'u fern. And um, it, it has a, it's, it's a, uh, curly thing, whatever you call those. Oh yeah. It, 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 it's, initial... it's red. It's a oh, reddish okay. orange color. It's really kind of pretty. Um, uh, the leaf is a little bit different. It's kind of like one one of these instead of having that. Instead of the compound one. Uh, but really a, a fiddlehead. Yeah, really a nice yeah. colored fiddlehead. Yeah, cool. It's a nice border plant. It's yeah. actually, you see what happens when you weed it.